we're going to be looking at how we can add some body lights to our eyes. So here is our finished node setup. This is what it should look like when we're done. So if you notice, we added two new drawings and two new deformation chains, as well as a composite down here. So let's start from scratch and we can explain these steps in a little more detail. The first step, let's draw our art layers. We'll do control R, bottom lid, and we'll do top lid, just like this. And we'll connect these right behind our eye line art. So when we draw our artwork, just like our eyeball, let's make sure that we separate our line art and our color art. It's just good practice. So on my line layer, I'm gonna draw a square, just like this. And then on my color art, I'll fill it in with blue. And I'll repeat this process for my top lid. I have my lids. It looks a little bit dumb because they're just squares, but don't worry, we're on the right track. So I added two pegs to our lid so we can move them around. But before we do anything else, we need to add a couple deformers on them so we can animate them a little bit easier. If you don't know how to use deformers, there's a link to the Toon Boom website for their documentation on deformers. So give that a read and then come back to the video. So let's go up here to our hammer tool, tool properties, and we're gonna use our envelope deformer. All we need to do is click these four corners and press alt and click to close the loop. We take these, these little handles and we can drag them to meet our lines a little bit better, just like this. So now if we click out of this, we have a nice deformed eyelid. Now we need to repeat this process for our top lid. Okay, so if we look here, we have our deformation chains put in. Okay, so it's coming along. So our last step is we need to cut these lids just like we did with our pupil. So good news, we already did that with our cutter. All we need to do is make sure it affects all three of these nodes instead of just our pupil. How do we do that? With our composite at the beginning. So Control H, add a composite, double click this yellow square, make sure it's set on pass through, that's important. And we're just gonna plug it into our cutter and plug everything into our composite. Boom, just like that. So now we have our lids that are cut by our eye. And when we use our deformers, right, we can get some perspective or some nice expression. So last thing, just a bonus thing, sometimes our lids are hidden. So what we can do is add a handle to make it easier to manipulate. So all it is is a drawing layer with a peg and we connect it to our lid. There's a visibility node set to display an open GL view, right? So now we have a handle that we can grab and move our lid. So even if it's hidden up here, I can move this around. It makes it a little bit easier to animate with.